So we are used to using the laws of logarithms to either expand or condense statements. Okay, so what I have behind me are the two, two of the main properties of logs that we use. The log of a difference, we can break it down into subtraction. The law of a product, we can break it up into addition. And how we're used to using this is, you know, if we're saying expand log 4x squared over squared of z. Something like that. We're used to splitting them up when we have four different components inside of our log, or multiple components, different components in there. But we can also use this when we are just dealing with a single number. Okay, and what I mean by that is if you are asked to simplify, say, the log of 400. Okay, remembering that this is a log base 10, there's that little invisible 10 here, we want to think about how we can simplify this a little bit more. And so you want to think of powers that, of 10 that go into 400. 100, and then we have a times 4. So this then is equal to log of 100 times 4. We're multiplying, so that means we can use our addition property and split it up. Okay? So this then becomes log 100 plus log 4. Okay? Log 100 we know. 10 to what power is equal to 100? That's just going to be 2. So this statement here is 2, and what we're actually end up, we end up figuring out is this is equal to 2 plus log 4. Okay? So how this actually comes into play is oftentimes we know information about what a log is. So say I knew what log 4 was. We could then rewrite this completely using numbers. Okay, we would drop our log altogether. So it's really convenient when we are trying to rewrite a combination or a number that we know certain factors of without actually knowing what the log is as a whole.